Week 70 of reselling, and as you know, I love to say it has been a roller coaster of a week, and this week has been that wild ride. Like, it has been a very, very slow start. Then we just shot up, and then I'm thinking, sweet, this is all good, and then we shot straight back down. So, <laughs> it's been a roller coaster of sales, it's been a roller coaster of emotions, and it has been playing with my head. And that's really what I want to be talking about today. And when this does happen, what are the questions we should be asking ourselves? And that's what I'm answering today. So the question we should be asking ourselves, and the question that I'm answering today is, what do we do when we have a low week? And for me, I have a series of questions that I like to go through, I guess, to kind of pulse check where I'm at. But I will share that with you today, and that might help you actually just get out of those ruts and actually help you see that maybe things aren't all that bad. But first, we're going to jump into five sales for this week. We're going to do three tops, one flop, and something a little bit different in between. So let's dive into it. Top item number one for this week was this Babysitter's Club Bolt Book um, Bundle. I picked this up for 50 bucks, $49.64 to be exact. Picked it up from the op shop and I was able to sell this for $109 with a total profit of $42.59 after fees and postage, of course. And it only sat around for about 11 days. So that was a quick little flip. Uh, very, very grateful to be able to pick those up and sell them. I actually picked them up at a Vinnie's, which was surprisingly, I got them quite cheap. And then top item number two for this week was this Nordica Men's Classic Sailing um, Jacket, basically. Now, I haven't really done a lot of these. This one I picked up for around $5.36 from Savers, actually and I sold it for $50. And after fees and postage, I've come out with a profit of $37.60. And this one actually sat around for about 92 days. So that helps you understand that, you know, these things aren't gonna tick over on a daily basis, but it was a nice sale, especially coming into the cooler months. And the next top item that I sold for this week was this DBT skills manual for adolescents. Now this one I actually got for free from a book bundle and knew nothing about it. It was kind of, I went through and just cherry picked out some of the good stuff. So I paid nothing for this, sold it for $50 flat. And after fees and postage, I came out with $32.21. And uh, this one sat around for 85 days. So it helps you see once again that these things aren't necessarily moving very, very quick. Now in terms of a flop, it's not probably really a flop. It was just probably my worst item of the week. And that was this StarCraft expansion set. And it was just the CD, um, didn't come in the big box or anything. Now I originally purchased this for $3.77, sold it for 20 bucks, and I've come out with a profit of $4.36. Sense. So nothing really big there. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just something that I probably wouldn't look for again unless it was in the big box or if I was getting it for like, you know, 20 cents or something. Probably not really what I'll be looking to sell again. Um, I love selling the video games and it's a love. I love this item type to sell. Uh, but this one sat around for 235 days. So it wasn't really what I was looking for. But you live and you learn. And then the final item that I want to take you through today was just this DVD, which I knew nothing about. I got this from a uh, DVD haul that I was given actually about 600 DVDs simply because someone was getting rid of a deceased estate. So I paid zero dollars for this, but this one called Brother, Son, Sister, Moon. I knew nothing about it, did some research. It's worth about 37 bucks, 40 bucks. I got 37 dollars for it. Uh, profited $22.61 after fees and postage. Um, and this one, it still sat around for a while. Like it was sitting for about, probably was sitting for about 90 to 100 days. I ended it and relisted it and it sat for six days and boom, gone out the windows. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty happy with that one. And nice to get a DVD sale, which is, you know, above nine bucks. So yeah, be on the lookout for this one. So lessons for this week, right? And I guess it really comes down to what we put in is what we will get, right? Or we get what we put in. I'm not here to say that you need to be doing more and I'm not here to be saying you're not doing enough or anything like that. But if you are having a low week, coming back to the whole thing that I'm trying to answer today, if you are having a low week, we need to understand what does this actually mean? Why are you in the rut in the first place? Or help yourself understand what does this even mean to yourself? Is it your sales are down? Are you not hitting the revenue that you wanted to hit for the week? As if you're below average, it doesn't mean you're actually having a bad week. It just means you're not hitting what you want. Once we understand what it is that's making you feel down, that's how we can then start to handle it a little better. And how do we actually handle it? Well, you need to ask yourself these questions. This is this is what I do for myself. So it might not work for you, but for me. So I ask myself uh, these bunch of questions before anything when I'm having a low week in sales or dollars or in progress of my reselling business. And the first question is, are you listing regularly? Are you doing the consistency each day? I usually do 15, but over the last couple of weeks, because I've run out of stock, I've had to do five new, 10 relists, or 10 new and five relists. And it's been different, so that doesn't help. <laughs> but now I've got some stock, not a problem. Are there any open cases? 
or any returns have, that need to be handled? Is there anything that you need to fix? So address that first. Once you remove those things off the table, then you can start to dive a little deeper and ask yourself some questions focusing on what you can control. So the first one is, do you have low stock? Have you been able to source? Now, if you've been out of source, but not be able to get the amount that you would want, then that's out of your control, right? There's sometimes you'll go, you'll spend two hours, you come out with, you know, 20, 30 items, but that's not going to suffice for a longer period of time. But we'll get to some alternatives to this shortly. You know, maybe you haven't been able to pick up bolos. Do you have any bolos? Well, you can't just make bolos appear. And if you don't know what bolos are, be on the lookout. These are your big high ticket items or things that move quickly, things that are going to be actually the gravy and the icing in your sales. But once again, you can't control that. You can't have them every single day. Now, the other third point, which basically comes back to point one and two is, have you shopped around? Have you tried some alternative sourcing chances? And these are the bare minimum questions you need to be asking yourself and considering if you are having a low week but if you're doing everything in your power to sell to grow and sometimes there will be low it's going to happen you can be doing all the things possible yet you're still going to have a low week but it also doesn't mean that you shouldn't try new things you need to be open to see how you can pivot and adjust to see if you can cater for those low periods for instance <clears throat> if you're sourcing by up shops maybe you get no stock can you buy bulk via facebook or private deals that will help get a better intake and you're not relying on time if sales are down can you run a sale can you run a promotion can you clean up some of the older stock can you realist it can you bundle it up can you move it off what can you do that will once again bring in more sales you can be low one week and high the next and you cannot change a thing but it doesn't mean you shouldn't consider doing either, right? You can either change something or not. I've been doing this for 70 weeks and as you can see, it's been very, very consistent. Like I've been trying to do this very, very consistently and you have low weeks and you have high weeks. So how have my stats actually been for this week? Well, I've come in roughly basically about 42 out of the 70 weeks, meaning it's a really, really bad week compared to the rest of the weeks. But all things considered, it's just below average. It's not really that bad. It's not really that low. So you can see it all here. My total numbers for the week I've done a total of 34 sales where I've got a margin of 56%. Uh, cost of goods was $143 for this week and sold was $963, right? Which is still pretty solid, just below average of around $1,100. And profit was coming at $547, which my profit average is around 650 bucks, 640 bucks. So it's not that far off. Average cycle time was 101 days this week, which means items that were selling, I've actually sold off a lot of old stock this week, which is quite surprising. But then again, it makes sense because I haven't been listing as many new things. So makes sense that the older stuff is the stuff that's going to sell. And ASP for this week was $28.30. You can have a look at all the items that have been selling for this week. Um, interesting enough to see what is moving, what hasn't been moving. And yeah, it is what it is. It really is what it is. So it comes back to the big question. Are you actually having a low week? Or maybe you just hit a dollar value that you didn't want. Maybe you wanted something higher and you didn't make. You need to then ask yourself, are you grateful for what you have done, for what you have sold this week? Are you feeling like, or are you feeling like your work deserved more? And this is this is the, the normal thing that I go through every single week. When you're hitting highs, hitting lows, some weeks you're going to feel like a boss, some weeks you're going to feel like, what is going on? But, you know, I have goals this year and I'm, I'm behind by about 30 days and it frustrates me so much. You can see it on screen. But when I look from a wider view, when I zoom out and actually have a look at the progress and see the consistency over these 70 weeks, the consistency is king and I'm still making some great progress and I've had plenty of low weeks and I've had plenty of high weeks and that is the beauty of it. Don't let one week or one day get you off your momentum train. Building that momentum is what's going to be able to get you through these a lot easier. So that's that. Now, if you've stuck around this long, let's jump into some show and tell. All right, team, couple of things going out uh, for Monday morning, Sunday night, just getting it ready. This isn't everything. I've got a couple of DVDs and games I still got to get out, but these are the the, the, the better hanging fruits. <clears throat> We've got these guys going out. Um, they also paid express shipping on these ones. So I think I got 55, 59 for this, so not too bad. Um, got some Levi's going out for 45. Uh, we got this guy going out for $39 plus $15 postage. Pick that up for three, four bucks. Um, we got some VC Andrews of the special orphans going out. That one for 45, I think it was, or 40. Eve, this they paid 40, 45 bucks for this, and it's gone all the way over to Canada. And they've actually paid up to get it all shipped there. So I'm probably going to come out with a few dollars with some extra discounts as well. So not too bad on that one. And then this one. This was actually a um, cigar box, which actually, <laughs> it was actually given to me from an op shop. So um, I sold that one for a quick 40, I think it was, 39 or might have even been 30 bucks, but quick sale, can't complain. I mean, these things move and 
pays the bills, so not too bad. A few DVDs to pack up and things like that, but yeah, otherwise, not too bad. All right, Tuesday night, and it's it's very bare bones, <laughs> folks, but it is what it is. We've got this Blu-ray going out, we've got this game going out, and we've got this DVD going out, and I've sold this one. I actually picked this up on Sunday uh, for average cost was around 34 bucks, and uh, sold it for 35 so that was a quick flip. These are just between 9 and 16 bucks, so just your bread and butter, but <clears throat> all in all, when you think about it, it's 35 you know, if these on average is ten bucks, I mean, we're still we're still getting close to 65, 70 bucks right there. So, not too bad. All right, team. So it's uh, Friday morning. Just getting the fr Friday mail run um, oh, all ready to rumble. And this isn't everything. We've still got some DVDs and things, but I'm going to take you through some of the items that I've already got out. So we've got Hardy Boys set going out for sixty. I think it was. Um, it might have been fifty. No, I'm pretty sure it was sixty. These two fellas, these were free for me, so I've got thirty for the both of them. They've been sitting for a very long time, um, so it's good to see them go. Garfield has gone for twenty five plus post. Tashi uh, got that last week. That has gone for forty nine dollars full price. Biggles really banged up, but not too bad. I've got about nineteen dollars for that one. Uh, this guy story on this. This was a little budget thing uh, from Westpac, and I've, I got that in like my third or fourth week of reselling. Our, our thrifting and it's finally gone for about 18 bucks um never would get that again but hey you know i was learning so this one's gone for i think 29 or 39 um battlefield's gone for 49 maybe it was 39 i don't know it, it was it was a bit up there this guy's just gone for 20 uh roots has gone for 29 um and this guy has gone for 49 and got them free and then we've got a nautica jacket going out that one has gone for 50 around 50 bucks and then We've got some original vintage babysitter clubs. That's gone for 109 plus postage. So very happy with this one. Um, yeah, not too bad. Still got a whole bunch of DVDs, but yeah, just all low, low kind of dollar stuff. All right, let's pack it up. Where do we go from here? And I actually spoke about this last week. This is like me just on repeat, but I think it's important because I've had a bad week, so I'm talking to myself here just as much as I am talking to you. But my encouragement to you is this. If you are feeling flat, ask yourself, are you doing everything you can? What's driving the lower results? See if there's something that isn't in your control, then don't worry about it. Now, if it is in your control and there's something that you could have been doing, then what are you gonna do about it? Let's charge on, let's see what we can do for next week. And uh, yeah, hang in there, you got this, cheers.